Welcome back. Vazelka, a Ukrainian family restaurant located in New York City, has become a symbol of hope for Ukraine. The restaurant, affectionately known as the Rainbow on the Corner at the Center of the World, is home to a community as they cope with the ongoing war. Let's take a look at the documentary trailer highlighting the restaurant. When I graduated college, my father said, what are you going to do with your life now? And I said, I don't know. My father said, well, why don't you come work in the family business with me? Cherry pierogies, please. At Veselka. Veselka. I bet you half the staff here have been there at 2 o'clock in the morning. People love this place. You don't want to break good habits, and it's a good habit. Thank you. Jason Burchard has a hunger to feed people like his father, Tom, and grandfather before him. My grandfather started this business in the center of little Ukraine, escaping Russian oppression back in the late 1940s. He opened it as a newsstand, but he turned it into a forum to help Ukraine. I know that he had dreams of his daughter marrying a good Ukrainian boy, so he reconciled to the next best thing, a good American boy. After he passed away, people could see that I was going to keep Vasilka going. But the Ukrainian community gave Tom a cold shoulder. Veselka was a laughing stock. I had to take a leap instead of doing what my father-in-law did. Like, give me French fries and... My father put a lot of hours into the business. He was very hard on me, making sure the details were met. Our relationship was business-like, and things were moving at a slower pace than what I would have preferred. Be careful what you wish for. Jason took over Veselka when the pandemic hit. And then... Don't think of this as a war in Ukraine. This is a war on a free world democracy and keep the pressure on our local officials that New Yorkers stand with Ukraine. Right. It's an atrocity what's going on there, Mr. Mayor. I'm sure you're well aware. <laughs> Jason has to be the leader at the local level. A donation? With food, you can connect anybody. Veselka has become the hub for helping Ukraine. Jason. The Ukrainian baseball team is in town. By you being here, you are a sign of hope. My Ukrainian staff, they're in a state of shock. Vitaly, longtime employee, parents are still in Kiev. But I'm doing my best to distract him. Vitaly, I think you need a little practice. My friends is there and I'm here. I just don't feel OK to, like, be OK. We gotta be careful we don't take on too much. I'm gonna need your help to bribe my parents over here. Jason just says yes to everything. <laughs> Let's do it. I've spent more time here than I have spent with my daughter. But we're saving lives from here. Director of Aselka, The Rainbow on the Corner at the Center of the World, Michael Fiore, joins me to discuss the film. Michael, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Now, the documentary, as I mentioned, spotlights Veselka. What drew you into learning more about this restaurant? So I went to NYU Film School, which is right around the corner from Veselka. And uh, to anyone, current student or alum, uh, they look at Veselka as like a second kitchen. Um, so I had gone there over the years and, uh, you know, had many late nights during the phase when they had 24 hour service and just fond memories. Um, and then uh, a mutual friend and colleague uh, of both mine and Veselka's suggested I introduce myself to, to Tom and Jason Burchard, the second and third generation owners of the restaurant, um, about maybe telling their story. And so I kind of ruminated on a little bit and studied up on their background and history. And I sat down with them in November of 2021 and they liked the idea. I think Jason in particular really liked the idea because he wanted to pay homage to his dad and all the work that his dad put into the restaurant over 54 years, roughly. Um, so um, we met in November. They kind of sat on it and didn't think about it. And then when the, the war started in February of uh, 2022, um, I knocked on their door again and I said, you know, your restaurant was started by your father-in-law and grandfather, respectively, um, as a result of fleeing Russian oppression after World War II. And I said, you know, if this war happens, your, your restaurant story is going to resonate so much more because of the parallels. And so they, they agreed that, 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 was correct and we started filming our first day of filming was february 11 i'm sorry february uh march 5th i believe which was the 11th day of the war 
Wow, that's so amazing. I, I really like, I think it's so amazing how like kind of like life works because this is something that you were already interested in um, and kind of having that unfortunate layer, uh, you know, be added to the story. It kind of like, as you mentioned, kind of helps uh, help the family tell the story and kind of like, like you said, the parallels, I thought that was so amazing. So, you know, just thank you for sharing that. Now, something that was really interesting to me was the title, The Rainbow on the Corner at the Center of the World. Can you just talk a little bit more behind the meaning of that title um, and kind of like where it came from? So uh, that title comes from two different uh, areas. One is Veselica, when translated to English, means rainbow. And then the uh, other side of the origin of the uh, title comes from a singer-songwriter I know up in Toronto who I'd worked with on my previous documentary. And I told him the concept of the movie right when we started filming about two years ago. Sat down with some ideas, and he came up with a song title and lyrics which were on the corner at the center of the world. And I went, hmm, that's really interesting. Um, could I potentially use that as a, as a part of the movie title? And so I kept going back and forth between different mo movie titles. And even though it's, it, it's a long title, uh, on the flip side, it's catchy. And uh, our narrator, David Duchovny, when he was in the booth recording the narration, not knowing what the full title of the movie was, he goes, uh, because, you know, that that sounds like a great song lyric or song title. And I go, yeah, well, that's actually the end credits song title and lyrics. And he's like, oh, OK, I was right. <laughs> so clearly people were responding to it. And that's the that's the title. That's amazing. I, I really love the title. I think that uh, it can be interpreted in so many ways, which is like a, such an amazing thing to have when you're, you know, in the world of art um, and, you know, in creation. So I think that's amazing. Now, with that in mind, you know, what impact did the restaurant have on the community and, you know, um, kind of being a center of like hope um, and a beacon of light? Can you, can you expand on how that kind of impacted the, the neighboring communities? So the restaurant is 70 years old this year, and it was started by uh, Vladimir Darmakwal. Um, he fled uh, Russian oppression uh, back in the late 1940s and came to New York City and started Veselka as a little candy store newsstand. And he wanted to create a place for refugees to be able to gather. There were small plates of food, but it was really more about like just the different needs for life from pens, pencils, paper, you know, cigarettes, all those kinds of things. And maybe he'd sell some pierogi and some coffee, but it was a very small corner store. Um, and then when he passed and it was taken over by his son-in-law, Tom Burchard, uh, Tom is not Ukrainian, as he always jokes, I'm Ukrainian by persuasion. And the neighborhood didn't really embrace him. Um, they kind of thought, what is this American kid doing running a Ukrainian storefront? But he said, you know what, I'm going to just keep pushing forward and I'm going to serve the community and I'm going to do it my way, not the way that my father-in-law was doing it. Because at this point, I need to take a leap of faith. So he took the leap of faith and really over decades went from really a struggling little newspaper stand to a 24-hour restaurant that, as he says, is a food factory. And throughout all those years, the community, not only have they fed the community, but the community has fed them. So in good times and bad, you know, during 9-11, anything south of 14th Street was supposed to be closed. There was a edict, you know, from the city saying, if you're below 14th Street, lock your doors. Baselica stayed open. They didn't even care. People found a way in all the closures and they opened up. You know, when we had uh, Superstorm Sandy, they did the same thing. They turned headlights into the uh, restaurant and served food, you know, very inexpensively because they knew people needed a resource. And also they were going to, you know, these things were going to turn on them if they left them in the, the turned off refrigerator for a week. So it was like everybody fed everybody. And um, things like this have happened throughout the decades where they're there for the community and communities there for them. But then with the war in Ukraine in the last two years, it's really like this, you know, their, their true impact and their true reason for being and the intention that Vladimir had in creating the storefront really is being realized now. 
Now, Vizelka premiered on February 9th. Congratulations. You know, what was the response like from viewers? Yeah, so we premiered at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival, um, and the response couldn't have been any better. I mean, I, I always say, you know what the movie is as the filmmaker, but or you think you know what it is, but the audience tells you what it is. And there were moments of laughter and, and applause that I never even could have predicted. And obviously that's the sign of a, a film that is connecting with people. Uh, one of the people in the audience that I was with said they looked over and they saw someone like starting to applaud, but when they realized that no one else was doing it, they were a little reluctant. And I'm sure there were others like that where they wanted to, but they just didn't know what the vibe of the theater was. But then as the movie kept going on and on, people were just like applauding at all these different moments. So it was a great response. And we have our theatrical coming up uh, this coming weekend, uh, the 23rd through the 29th at the Village East uh, Cinema in New York City, as well as LA um, and Ukraine, actually, um, amongst other cities. So it's, it's very exciting. That's amazing. Now, can you just quickly let us know, you know, in what ways do you hope or what do you hope people gain from the film? Um, and basically, you know, how the film aims to amplify the voices of those who are struggling or at the current mo moment are voiceless. There's a big moment at the start of Act Two uh, where I won't give too much away, but uh, a local New York official um, is at Veselka and Jason, who, as you'll see in the story, becomes the third generation owner during the pandemic and the start of the war. His father retires and uh, kind of reluctantly, but the pandemic kind of forces him to make that choice. And the local official that comes by uh, day 12 of the war, um, in theory, wants to be helpful, but is kind of torn between too many messages that they want to convey to the press. And what ends up happening is both Tom and Jason kind of realize that you can't look necessarily to your local political leaders or our national political leaders. We have to go back to a way of thinking of we care about the people in front of us and our neighbors. And by extension, that can help people in other places. You know, it's a pay it forward kind of a system. Right. And I think people will watch the movie and realize that this one little restaurant, you know, on the corner at the center of the world, it can be anywhere in the world. But if you have the right goals and drive and love that's really authentic, uh, you can you can help people and you can change the world and your local community. All right. Well, Michael, I want to thank you so much for joining us and sharing this story with our community. Thank you for having me. To learn more about the documentary, follow them on all social media platforms at Baselka Movie. Stay tuned. We have more up with you right after this.